Hey guys, Sabbath Videos back here at the Flak Panzer Restoration Project and this is the end of the July 20th workday and we're with Dave as always and it has been a very successful day today. Dave, can we go down the line of things on this table and just talk about the things people will expect to see in the following minutes? Yeah, sure. Uh, so what we got here is um, the tapered pins, uh, left and right. Uh, the small one here, so if you look at them, you can tell they're two different sizes. So the small one here actually goes uh, through the whole, uh, the pin here onto uh, this part here, which is all part of the suspension. And it holds it in, uh, in, in the spot here, so it pivots on, on this pin. Uh, on the other side is, you can tell there are two different sizes. The other one is for uh, the other side, which holds the leaf springs. Uh, right now, uh, as you can see, you don't see the leaf springs here in that uh, support arm here. Actually, Liam has taken it home, and he's our electrolysis guy, so he's going to put it in for the next uh, couple of weeks doing electrolysis on it, and he's going to do a video for us on it as well, so you'll be able to see that coming out shortly too uh, from Liam. Right. I believe you also wanted to talk about these tools. Yeah, so again, this is the impact socket that we got out of uh, Deltec in uh, Poulton, England. Uh, three quarter inch drive, 50 millimeter octagon uh, impact socket. Uh, as it is now, you can see the top is black. The whole thing was black. Unfortunately, uh, due to the ca casing and the different sizes on it, actually fits the nuts no problem. Uh, both of them. Uh, problem is, is that one side of the casing is cast slightly different than the other side. Uh, I've actually, um, through a company here in Barrie, C uh, I'm going to say it wrong, Sisu, S-I-S-U, um, Marcus there, he actually took off seven millimeters of the socket uh, so that we can fit it on um, to take these, these nuts off. It's just the back clearance wasn't enough. So again, we use it, heat up the nuts, put it on, and it comes off nice and easy. So again, great. And he also made us this pin. So on the top, you can see right here, there's a little uh, hole there. We put it in there for lining and punch it out and just use the 20 ton uh, press behind us. And we just pushed it in and it nicely slid out, covered in grease and everything else, beautiful. So just easy to slide right out. Uh, we're hoping that the rest of them are gonna be like that. Uh, we'll see when we get to those ones as well. Right, so you can watch all that in the following footage. Also, the videos that Dave was talking about, be sure to follow the Facebook page for the Flag Panzer Restoration Project because that's where they're going to be going off. So now, this onto the press drill out because it's still full of uh, rust in that. Okay. So we'll probably have to just take a, a drill bit, a small one, just clean out that rust that's in there. And then what we'll end up using the press, right? Because they're tapered pins, uh, what the Nash Hound guys said when I, uh, they replied back to my email, he said heat up the casing a bit, it'll just help it. Because it's a tapered pin from the bottom up, right? Yeah, so it'll just... And once it starts, we're good. Alright, hands clear. Take away. Is that good? Okay. Alright, let's go. Let's do one side at a time. Okay, let's do this side. Watch your feet. Give me your steel toes. Alright, let's go. So, steel toes first before we get to them. And we yes, can yes, good point. Do you want to drill it up first? Yeah. There we go. How are we going to Still. You want to be just to give it a little touch with the hammer? Sure. sure. It's just some sticking in there? Yeah. Sure, why not? Oh, you got a hammer. No. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 too much. Just back a bit, Rob. Just back a bit. Uh, we lift it up and 
tap it back over. Okay, right there. We should be. Yeah, that's good. Okay, we still have that nut, right? So we. Okay, we should be good right there. Okay. I'm hoping. Are you happy with the other plate? Yeah, the other plate's good. What we're doing right now is setting up uh, the suspension so that we can push the pin out. It's been a little bit of a pain. We got the the bolt and pin here. We got the castellated nut off the other side, which actually says stayed on. Pulled this nut off and then punched it through. Unfortunately, we can't get the nut back on. So we're dick dogging around to try to get it so that we can make sure it's even. Then we can start using the 20 ton press and pushing out that uh, tapered pin. So we're going to go that on the far side with the the leaf springs on it, get that side off because then it'll be a little easier to manhandle. So yeah, it's a bit bit of a pain right now. A little bit that way. Because we need the power. Oh, shit. Damn. There, there, there. I'd say that's good. Once it's under pressure, it's going to square. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, this might be... There it goes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Remember the whole... No. You got it? Sweet. Just watch. It's going to be good. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Nice pooch. Oh, oh I got my spot. Do you want uh, a longer one? Yes. Okay, try again. So I've got my hands on it. Oh, and that's nicely oh, done, Liam. Oh. Job, High five? Oh, hey. High five. All right. Well done. <laughs> Look at that. Beauty. Sweet. That's a whole, okay, that's a bushing. That's and everything else. Awesome. Look at that. That's beautiful. One pin out. One more to go. One more to go. And um, let's see if we can get this uh, swing arm on. So I think we might have to do is jack it up again. Maybe bring the table back over and lower this a bit, and then we want to just try and get the other one out. Well, yeah, right. I think you'll be right. Let's do it. If we take the other arm off, then we're going to have this going to be even harder to try and straighten. I'm surprised how well that, um, what's it called? It came out? Yeah, it just slid out oh, perfectly. Well, if we move this this way slightly, the whole thing, Yeah. I think we'll be able to block and all. Okay. Block and all. Okay. Right? So we need to move. There, we're good there. Brandon, how's our angle? Put your hand uh, yeah. Pull up. That uh, bar. There you go. Oh, there you go, yeah. Suspension, yeah. Suspension. Yeah, you have it. Can I put in the next one? Oh, okay, now it's just too, too short now. Another one bites the dust. Okay, so let's take this stuff off so we can bring this. There's your son. He doesn't like Are they loose? No, that's they that's the, for the yeah, grease to go through, grease channel. Okay, you got all this, turn the table back. There's another one there. So when they're lubricating it, it all goes in. It goes into the collar and then it goes through that hole. So that's one thing that I could catch, William. So we know the smaller one is for the smaller arm. Yeah, the larger one is for the arm with uh, the leaf springs on it. Got it. So we're good on that. Guys, it's Dave again. Uh, myself and the crew uh, used the 20 ton press, pushed out uh, the two pins. We noticed uh, Liam, good catch on Liam there. Uh, notice that the two pins are slightly different. Uh, this is the first one we pulled out and it's on the side with the leaf springs. As you can see, it is a little thicker. Uh, this one here is the side um, the support arm, uh, the smaller support arm side, you can see the difference in them. Slightly different taper and slightly different in uh, diameter net. So good catch on Liam so we don't uh, mess them up. Now we know it'd be kind of suck if we put him back in and put him in the wrong spot, but good catch on Liam on that one there. So we've got these here. We're now going to bring uh, the support arm and uh, the rest of the suspension over. We've got to watch because there's no pins holding them on and we'll get them on the bench here and we'll take them further apart. We're Coming using out. the pry bars to get this cap off so we can pull these uh, support arms off. Just kind of 
just wiggle it just slightly. So there it goes there. I feel like it's not. There it goes. It's so, over. so my concern is going to be when we do this, this is going to come off. It's going to go that way. So you want to you want to rotate it? Yeah. Uh, there we go. And then we're. It's almost done. It looks like you're bound on the bolt. It's talking to them. Uh, what they suggested is that we heat the.